Wow, what a day. Here we have the, the Dow collapsing uh, approximately 635 points or down right at 5.55% for the day. We have the S&P 500 down right at 80 points, which is 6.66%. Boy, that's that's ominous in itself 6.66 and then we have everybody complaining I am so sick and tired of hearing the Tea Party did it then the immediately if it's not the Tea Party that did it it immediately shifts to the S&P did it cause these markets to collapse let me remind everyone that S&P warned our government early in 2011 that there was a actual risk of a decline. S&P said that this country needed to come to grips and they needed to deal with at least cuts of four trillion dollars. So I am just sick and tired of all this crap, excuse me for saying that, but I am just sick and tired of pointing the blame at tea parties. I'm sick and tired of pointing the blame uh, at, at S&P 500. Washington is dysfunctional, period. Washington is dysfunctional. Um, I'm just, uh, as you can kind of tell, I'm getting a little passion here. and. I'm concerned for our country. I am really concerned for our country. Uh, and here we have today S&P uh, went in and, and they went ahead and they downgraded Fannie and Freddie. Uh, it is not looking good. What you have in front of you uh, is the S&P 500, of course. It's the chart. Uh, most of you know that uh, I'm a great believer uh, in trying to determine the overall uh, trend of the market. Uh, my basic strategy is the 1540. You're not looking at the 1540, you're looking at the 1334. But what I have found out, the 1334 EMAs is a pretty good precursor of what could happen to the 1540. And yes, today, the 13-week EMA crossed below the 34-week EMA, as, as pointed out here, which is an ominous sign in itself. I don't know what's going to happen to the 1540. Uh, this market is extremely oversold. Here we are. We're down over 17 percent. Um, the futures right now for the S&P 500 uh, is right at uh, 1114. Not too long ago we were 1350 on the S&P. Down 17 percent in a matter of weeks. Um, and I'm, I'm also very, very tired of our so-called pundits out there, economic and financial pundits, saying, never saw this one coming. Well, wait a minute. It wasn't that far uh, to see. Uh, all what you have to do is kind of go back and read some of my postings on my blog. Uh, and you will know that the evidence is there, the data was there. No one was complaining when our Federal Reserve System was pumping $2 trillion into the economy and propelling financial assets on the upside. Absolutely not. Um, it'll be interesting uh, tomorrow, uh, Benanke will give a talk. And uh, what's he going to do? What's the Fed going to do? They're going to do something. something. Never, never underestimate the power of a single bank. bank. So there you there go. You go. Uh, stay tuned. And as I said, the market is extremely real. So I do expect uh, uh, some kind of a pretty good bounce down here. here. Um, a lot of damage has been done. done. Right now, my now focus, focus is, of course, on the 15 40. Try to have a great evening. Later, later. <laughs>